for some reason I feel like I am Peter Parker right now, 73 Peter, <laughs> BK3 Yankee Echo, this is Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo. Good day everybody and welcome back to DX Explorer for another video. Uh, today I'm warning you it's no project, no, I'm not building anything, I'm just having fun. So my friend Benze, I think I'm pronouncing correct, <laughs> in Hungary. Uh, by the way, Benze, thanks so much one more time for your PayPal support for the blog and the, and the YouTube channel. It really means a lot and it helped me. So he sent me a schematic of a transmitter, which was basically a modi slightly modified version of the 10 minutes transmitter that I built in the past. And uh, uh, we were trying to get it to work with voice. Um, AM modulation, um, amplitude modulation, and uh, for some reason I, I couldn't get it to work. I have the circuit here somewhere, but I'm going to play around with that one a little bit uh, longer uh, later on. Maybe I can get it to work, and if you've already done that and you know how to do it, let me know. <laughs> Send me an email or something, maybe I can get that one to work as well. Uh, but I really wanted to do AM modulation because now I, you know, I started working with this and I never built a transmitter that uh, sense voice, uh, doesn't matter what kind of signal, AM, SSB, uh, double sideband, I, I haven't built anything and I was curious, can I do the Michigan mic in my to do that? And I remembered that a long time ago I've seen an article about a slight modification to the Michigan mic in my transmitter and it's very simple, you're just soldering a cable with a jack uh, connector um, so the, the ground uh, from the cable goes to the ground of the transmitter and uh, the tip of the cable it goes to the 27 ohms resistor so anyway uh, that's all you do you connect this cable and then i'm using an lm386 audio amplifier so i'm going to connect the output of the lm386 audio amplifier to the transmitter then I'm going to use a microphone on the input of the transmitter and this is the microphone that I'm going to use uh, for today and of course I'm going to connect a CW key so I can key the transmitter uh, so I'm able to transmit. I'm thinking that with a you know with a nice low pass filter on the output maybe a simple version of the LM386 audio amplifier incorporated into the transmitter and with some switches and stuff um, maybe we can uh, build the transmitter in a way that you're able to use it both for CW or for AM uh, transmissions. And uh, yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all. It, you know, with 500 milliwatts of AM uh, voice, you will definitely not get too far. But I think it would be fun. <laughs> so when I'm going to redesign the PCB board for the Michigan Mighty Might, I think I'm going to do two versions. One. A uh, simple version, just as it is for the 40 meters band. I'm not going to bother for the other bands, but uh, um, I will also do it, uh, do a version with the the whole amplifier, audio amplifier incorporated into the transmitter, so you can also um, do AM voice transmissions. That would be cool. Anyway, let's have fun and do some tests and see how it sounds into the. Um, into the uh, the receiver that I have over here, over here. We are testing the Michigan Mighty Might AM voice transmission with a 2N3904 that's heating up like crazy. The battery is about to die. I only have about 6 volts left out of 9 volts battery and uh, just a little bit under 200 milliwatts of power output voice transmission. For some reason I feel like I am Peter Parker right now, 73 Peter, <laughs> VK3 Yankee Echo, this is Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-ray Echo. And I am having so much fun you have no idea, but with about uh, 12 volts power uh, on the, the powering the transmitter I'm getting about 600 milliwatts of voice uh, power AM transmission. I can smell the transistor burning right now, so I should stop doing this test. <laughs> but with a nice local filter on the output and the 7.2 MHz crystal that I have right now, maybe one day I should do a test on air, see if I can get anything. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this was very funny. I really loved playing around with this one. 
Uh, well, I have to say hello to my friends uh, Bill and uh, Pete from uh, Solder Smoke because that's where I discovered the Michigan Mighty Might uh, the first time. And I've been playing around with it, uh, trying to get a better power output. But for some reason, in then it ended up stuck on my uh, bench here because I did, um, I did had no no time to take care of this. But I will. Um, I'm about to redesign the PCB board and uh, do some more tests with the coils. And probably <laughs> I will uh, repost uh, a video about the Michigan Mighty Might and some more stuff from the older videos. Uh, anyway, it was a really fun video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week uh, with another video. Until then, 73. And don't forget, just have fun and enjoy the hobby.